Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 5, and we're going to be breaking down some interesting news from the set. So this actually came out maybe about a week or so from now, so I'm a bit late on it, but I've had other things to do in the meantime. But I'm finally getting around to it, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So last week we got some interesting news that the actress for Hawkgirl was actually seen on set around Vancouver. So this got people's theory brains going off crazy and at first when I saw it I was a bit shocked if I'm totally honest and I'm sure a lot of you were if you've heard about it but it was kind of skimmed over by the news outlets and everything like that so I don't know if half of you would have seen it. Essentially she was there for a day and then she flew all the way back to Los Angeles presumably and so she was back on the flash set and as to why this could be massive is because the 2024 newspaper article for the crisis event that it teases does include Green Arrow, The Atom, and Hawkgirl, which is very, very interesting. So, with the time travel aspect of this season, a lot of people have been theorising online that her shooting a scene may be a glimpse of what we may see in the future. Potentially it's time travel, potentially it's Nora showing Barry what's going to happen, what critical point in his future is going to change everything, and how potentially it turns out differently from the way it's supposed to do. So, I totally agree with this, and I think the only reason why why she would turn up because she's not a very well respected character in the Arrowverse, she wasn't that good. I love Hawkgirl in the animated series, she's one of my favourites, so that's of course why I was so excited for her in Legends, and I was a little bit underwhelmed. I enjoyed her, but she wasn't the best. This excites me because it teases the idea of what's to come in the future, and I don't think there will be any other reason to get her back shooting apart from that massive crisis event, because that's massive in the Flash TV show, that's been teased all the way back since season 1 and as we've gone closer we keep on getting more teases as to what's happening with Savitar, the byline was changing with Iris being the writer or potentially not being the writer and now as we head towards this new season they tease that the Central City Citizen is going to be starting to develop from Iris's blog that she currently does on The Flash that she just restarted back in season 4. So this is all leading up to this event. Obviously I think The Flash TV show will last till 2024 so I think they can delay and actually do that then because people are going to want to see that even if it's six years in the future from now. So I'm thinking very similar to what a lot of people online are actually thinking that this is in fact a glimpse at what's going to finally be revealed to be the 2024 crisis event that's going to happen that's so pivotal in the Flash being the superhero that we know. So I think we will in fact get a glimpse whether it's time travel like I mentioned before before, or whether it's Nora showing what happens in this massive crisis event, this potentially could show us a little look at what to expect, which may in fact include the Reverse Flash, the Atom, Green Arrow, they all may make small little cameos in this scene in potentially episode 8 or 7. I think that's where they're at right now, I'm not 100% I know that up to episode 7, but I don't know by that point if they had finished that episode or not. It's kind of unclear. No one's clarified that online yet. But episode 8 is the 100th episode, which is massive. Apparently, it's going to be one of the biggest Flash episodes ever. And apparently, according to leaks, they're bringing back Reverse Flash, Zoom, and Savitar, which is crazy, even if they're in small little different ways. So I think if this is part of the episode 8, I would be extremely happy. I think that would work so well if they're trying to make this the biggest thing you know reminisce on the flash's history but also set up the future show us the glimpses of what's going to happen in that major event in 2024 so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching this video what do you think of my theories what do you think of people's thoughts online let me know in the comments down below and also please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to this channel and also just wanted to say I have a new film podcast that I'm doing with my friend. We're going to be doing that week to week, talking about all the new films that being DC, Marvel, Oscar season, loads of upcoming films, and we're going to be doing reviews on there, and we're going to be talking about new news and casting and things like that, which is very exciting to me. So if you guys like that stuff, 
please be sure to go to the description below and subscribe to that channel so you don't miss that weekly podcast every week which is going to be very long and very extensive and we're going to talk about tons of news and films anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later goodbye Sharp breeze.